Well, now to the latest in the fight against ISIS, which is entering a new phase. The United States is now conducting airstrikes in Libya, bombing targets in the coastal city of Sirte. To discuss it, Margaret Brennan is at the White House Forest, joins us now. And Margaret, again, uh, the specific uh, target here, the city of Sirte, why is that the target of these strikes? Well, this has been a stronghold of ISIS. In fact, it's the most significant stronghold outside of those battlefields in Syria and Iraq. Libya has become a hotbed with foreign fighters just pouring in there in the past five years. And so the U.S. has been very concerned because of its proximity to Europe. You can see you can be on European shores in a matter of hours because it's just a few hundred miles away. Uh, and they're also very concerned because uh, ISIS has already tried to use it as a base for attacks, certainly in Tunisia and elsewhere in North Africa. So the U.S. has been looking at how to help support, support local militants there for some time. Back in January, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said the U.S. really wants to take decisive action here. We've had special operators on the ground in Libya for months now, along with the French and the British. But it was just a few days ago that President Obama gave the green light to launch these targeted strikes. They're going to be in uh, civilian areas. And because the U.S. has pre precision strikes, something the Libyan Air Force does not have, uh, they, they ask for these help to specifically take out tanks and other things that ISIS is using to push back the forces who are loyal to this brand new government in Libya. You mentioned the president. He will be holding a joint press conference uh, alongside the prime minister of Singapore just later this morning. Can we expect him to address uh, this latest change here uh, regarding uh, airstrikes in Libya? Well, I have to imagine he's going to be asked about it. Remember, back in April, President Obama said his worst mistake as president was his failure to anticipate the fallout of Muammar Gaddafi's ouster from power. That's a Libyan dictator who was pushed out of power back in 2011 following a NATO-led air campaign. That was a controversial decision. It was pushed by the UN with US support. And basically, that power vacuum that was left was taken advantage of by terror groups like ISIS. So the fact that President Obama has once again authorized strikes in Libya uh, underscores that perhaps necessary evil that he has decided to undertake here, saying, you know what, there's enough festering of terror groups in Libya after that ouster that we do need to be involved. Uh, but alongside the Singaporean prime minister, he's also going to want to try to pivot back to Asia and talk about some of those things that uh, he sees as growth trajectory for the United States in terms of trade and, and doesn't really like talking about uh, military intervention in the Middle East. But I got to imagine my fellow reporters are going to ask him. Again, there are remarks we will have for you here live on CBS. And Margaret Brennan at the White House, we thank you.